boxing today. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So I just got done watching Nick Webb destroy <laughs> Jacob Gospic, man. It was a pretty much a, a mismatch. I'm not even sure Gospic even landed any punches, man. I think he maybe landed two or three punches, but he was on the defensive pretty much the majority of the whole first round. It was a first round stoppage. Nick Webb um, improves that 8-0, and, and it was just a destruction, man. Gossip has been in there with guys like Chisura, Tom Schwartz, a uh, few of the UK guys, Derek Chisura, um, Danny Hughes, Carlos Taco. I mean, he's been in there with a who's who a list of uh, opponents, but he's a journeyman, and Nick Webb did exactly what I would expect um, an up-and-coming prospect to do to a journeyman, and that's pretty much get him out of there. Um, he got him out of there pretty quickly, man, so... Now it's just about stepping Nick Webb up and getting him in there with another, you know, good prospect level type of guy sooner or later. Um, he improves at 8-0, so maybe they want to get him up to around, you know, I don't know, 13, 14-0. Before they do that, I'm not sure. But by the looks of it, I think he's going to take care of all these journeymen. You know, if they put him in there with another journeyman level guy, I think he's going to take care of them. Uh, I know months ago there was rumor of... of uh, Nick Webb possibly fighting Tyrone Spong on a David Hay card. I remember they were talking about that, and then it never happened. But I think that would be a good one, man. Both undefeated. Both got heavy hands. Both climbed up the ranks. It would be a, a, a um, I think it would be a, a competitive fight. I don't know if that's too early for both of these guys to get in there. But I like when guys get in there early, man. You know, a loss is a loss. If you take a loss, it's just a loss. You can always come back. Look at Eric Molina. He got knocked out in the first round of his very first professional fight, and he's went on to have some success after that. You know what I mean? So, but fights like this, you know, pretty much Nick Webb fighting downhill and just, you know, raining down power punches and not really going to learn much, man. Just, you know, he's in there beating on a punching bag pretty much. That's what it was. But uh, looked impressive. Um, as far as his weight, I think he came in at like at 260 or uh, close to 260 pounds. So, uh, Maybe want to lose some weight, you know, you know, so I'm nitpicking here. He's a big guy, 6'6", six, six, you know, it's not like he's he's uh, six feet. He he is six feet, six inches, Um, maybe close to 245 to just be in the best condition possible because obviously you're not going to be able to knock everybody out within the first round. Um, You may have to go up until round eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, you know, so uh, you want to be in the best condition that you possibly can and put yourself in the best uh position that you possibly can to... Uh, you know, to win a fight like that if it comes down to a battle of attrition. But I definitely like what I see. I definitely like the right hand. Um, Want to see if he can get in a situation where he can use his jab to win rounds. And I know by looking at him, he wants to put the hurt on you. You know, he doesn't, <laughs> doesn't seem like the type of guy that wants to go in there and, uh, you know, box you. But there's going to come a you know, time where you may have to use your jab to keep your opponent off you to, to survive a round or something like that. But, uh I like to see him, you know, what his jab looks like and if he can win some rounds by using his jab. And I'm sure he's probably won a round or two using the jab in some of his previous fights. But just want to see him work on that. Even if he is getting guys out of there pretty quickly, just set it up with a nice jab. He was throwing the jab, but it was pretty much mid-range in this fight. And he was letting hooks, left hooks, and hard right overhand right hands go. And I got Gospic out of there. So... Want to see Nick Webb back in the ring, man. But this was a uh, did what he's supposed to do, and he got him out of there quick. So, just my post fight review. Um, Nathan Gorman, that'd be a good fight. No, Nathan is a, is a very young. He's a lot younger than Nick Webb, but maybe a Ian Lewison, maybe a fight like that. You know, just see where uh, Nick Webb is at because he's approaching thirty. You know, um, really doesn't mean anything though. I mean, Gerald Washington is looked at as a prospect, and he's what 34, 35 or something. So. You guys, let me know what you think about the fight if you watched it, man. If not, I'm going to leave the fight in the description box and you can click it and watch the fight for yourself. I'm out.